Greetings, Science Maximites. My name is Phil, and welcome to Science Max Experiments at Large. We're gonna be making one of the easiest and one of the hardest experiments to do. Here's what we're gonna make, a hot air balloon. And it's pretty easy to make. That's why it's one of the easiest experiments. All you need is a plastic bag, but not any plastic bag. The kind of plastic bags you get at the grocery store to put your fruit in. That kind of plastic is very thin, very light, good for hot air balloons. And you just wanna put two paper clips on the bottom of the bag to hold the bottom down. Now here's the other thing you need. You need an adult and a hairdryer. Turn the hairdryer on. Put the heat on the highest setting and the fan on the lowest setting. The air inside the bag is getting hotter, which means the molecules are moving faster and they're getting further apart, which means there's going to be less of them in the same space. Less molecules means less weight and that means it's going to be lighter. The bigger the difference in temperature between the air inside the bag and the air outside the bag, the better it's going to work. So I recommend doing this outside, actually, on a cold day. When it's been long enough, turn the hairdryer off and it will float. Ha <laughs> ha, now it won't float very long because the air inside the bag will quickly return to its original temperature and it will no longer be any lighter than the air outside the bag. But it's definitely fun to fly for a while, while it lasts. <laughs>